maana wimbo mpya kwa maana ametenda mambo ya ajabu machoni pa mataifa amehidhilisha haki yake haleluya kwa jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu neema ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na upendo wa Mungu baba na ushirika wa mtakatifu viwe naji nyote zangu tuendelee kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa wema wake, ukalimu wake katika maisha yetu. Kwa hakika tumeona mkono wa Bwana wiki yote hiyo amekuwa pamoja nasi. Basi leo ikiwa ni Jumapili ya tano ya Pasaka, tuendelee zaidi kufurahia ufufuko wake, ushindi wake katika maisha yetu. Tuendelee zaidi kuleta nia zetu binafsi, nia za wote ambao umetuomba tuwakumbuke kwa nia kipekee, kwa njia kipekee haswa wale ambao twashiriki nao katika ibada za misa hapa kanisani petu mtakatifu Patrick katika vigango vyetu vyote tukiombea Mungu wetu akutane nao katika mahitaji yao na zaidi endelee kuwalinda na janga hili la corona ndio basi kiwa ni siku ya kina mama wote mothers day tunakumbuka kina mama wote popote wapo haswa wale ambao twashiriki nao Wazazi wetu ambao umetuzaa tuombea Mungu ambaye ameanza kazi njema katika maisha yao aendelee kuikamilisha na zaidi aendelee zaidi kuwabarikia wito ambao amewaitia tuendea kuomba sote haswa tukiungana baba mtakatifu ili tuweze kupata suluhu mwafaka ili janga hili liweze kubalizika la corona zaidi tuendelea kuombea pia wote ambao watazama kila wakati katika nia zao popote wako Mungu endelee kuwasikiza na zaidi aweze kubariki nia yenu na bidii yenu katika kufuata ibada za misa. Tunaombea waongozi wa wote haswa wale ambao wameambukizwa ama wamekutwa na janga hili la corona, Mungu wetu endelee kuwaponya aendee kuwa mmoja wao. Tuendelee sote kujiombea amani ndani yetu, ndani ya roho zetu. Haswa Mungu wetu ukiwa na janga hili wengi wamekuwa na kiwewe tumekuwa na shida katika nyoyo zetu tuombe Mungu aweze kutusudiza na zaidi kutuweza kuitimalisha katika imani zaidi tuombwa na zaidi tuweze kushirikiana na parokia yetu tunapoombea familia ya mwenda zake George Lucy Kamau ambaye aliweza kufanya kazi kwa bidii sana akiwa mwenyekiti katika parokia hii ambaye ametuacha Mungu wetu wa mrehemu apokee mahali pema peponi na zaidi aendelee kuwaliwaza wana familia leo hii e bwana fadhili zako zikae nasi kama vile tulivyokuja haswa wakati huu ndugu zangu hatufai mbele zake Mwenyezi Mungu tumwendeeni kwa unyenyekevu na upendo ndani yetu tumuombe toba na msamaha ili tuweze kwa hakika kuadhimisha vema ibada hii takatifu misa na kuungamia Mungu mwenyezi na yesu zangu kwa nimekosa mno wa mawazo kwa vitendo na kwa kutimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana na kuomba Maria mwenye heri bikra daima na ikara watakatifu wote na ndugu zangu niombeeni kwa bwana wetu Mungu mwenyezi aturumie asamehe dhambi zetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele Bwana utuhurumie. Bwana utuhurumie. Kristo utuhurumie. Kristo utuhurumie. Bwana utuhurumie. Bwana utuhurumie. Utukufu kwa Mungu juu na amani duniani kwa watu wenye mapenzi mema. Tunakusifu, tunakuheshimu, tunakuabudu, tunakutukuza. Nakushukuru kwa ajili ya utukufu wako mkuu. E Bwana Mungu mfalme wa mbinguni Mungu Baba mwenyezi Bwana Yesu Kristo mwana wa pekee Bwana Mungu mwana kondoo wa Mungu mwana wa Baba Anaendelea kuondoa dhambi za 
dunia utuhurumie wenye kuondoa dhambi za dunia pokea ombi letu na eketi uume kwa baba utuhurumie wewe ndiye ulie peke yako mtakatifu ndiye peke yako mkuu Yesu Kristo na watakatifu katika utukufu wa Mungu Baba amina tuombe e Mungu umetuletea ukombozi na kutufanya watoto wako tunaomba utusikilize kwa wema sisi wanao ili katika kumwamini Kristu tupate uhuru wa kweli na ulithi wa milele. Tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanao, anaishi na kutana nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu, Mungu daima na milele. Somo katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume. <clears throat> Siku zile wanafunzi walipokuwa wakiongezeka hesabu yao walikuwa na manuguniko ya Wayahudi na wa Kiyunani juu ya Wahebrania kwa sababu wajane wao walisahaulika katika huduma ya kila siku wale dinashara wakawaita jamii ya wanafunzi wakasema haipendezi sisi kuliacha neno la Mungu na kuhudumu mezani. Basi ndogo chagweni watu saba miongoni mwenu walioshuhudiwa kuwa wema wenye wajawa na roho na hekima ili tuwaweke juu ya jambo hili na sisi tutadumu katika kuomba na kulihudumia neno lile neno Neno hili likapendeza machoni pa mkutano wote. Wakamchagua Stefano, mtu aliyeja imani na roho mtakatifu. Na Filipo, na Prokoro, na Nikanoli, na Timoni, na Pelmela, na Nikola, mokovu wa Antioki ambao wakaweka mbele ya mitume na walipokwisha kuomba wakaweka mikono yao juu yao neno la Mungu likaenea na hesabu ya wanafunzi likazidi sana katika Yerusalemu jamii kubwa ya makuhani wakaiti wakaitia lile imani neno la Mungu Zaburi E Bwana fadhili zako zikae nasi kama vile tulivyokungoja wewe Kae nasi kama vile tulivyokungoja wewe Mpigieni Bwana bigelegele enyi wenye haki Kusifu kuna wapasa wanyofu wa moyo. Mshukuruni Bwana kwa kinumbi. Kwa kinanda cha nyuzi kumi mwimbieni sifa. E Bwana fadhili zako zikae nasi kama vile tulivyokungoja wewe. Kwa kuwa neno la Bwana lina adili ni kazi yake yote huitenda kwa uaminifu hazipendi haki na hudumu nchi ijaa imejaa fadhili za Bwana e Bwana fadhili zako zikae nasi kama vile tulivyokungoja wewe Tazama macho ya Bwana ilikuwa wa mchao. Wasigonjea fadhili zake, yeye waponya nafsi zao na mauti na kuahuishi wakati wa njaa. 
E bwana fadhili zako zikae nasi kama vile tulivyokungoja wewe. Somo la pili. Somo katika waraka wa kwanza wa mtume Petro kwa watu wote. Mwende yeye jiwe lilo hai iliyokataliwa na wanadamu mbali kwa Mungu ni teule lenye heshima. Nyinyi nanyi kama mawe yaliyo hai mmejengwa mu nyumba ya roho. Kuhani mtakatifu mtoe dhabehu za, za roho zinazokubaliwa na Mungu kwa njia ya Yesu Kristo kwa kuwa imeandikwa katika maandiko tazama naweka katika zayuni jiwe kuu la pembeni teule lenye heshima na kila amwaminie hata tahayarika basi heshima hili ni kwenu nyinyi mnaoamini mbali kwao wasioamini jiwe lokata walilo likata waashi limekuwa jiwe kuu la pembeni tena jiwe la kujikoa mguu na kwa mwamba wa kuangusha kwa maana kujikwaza kwa neno lile wasioamini wasi, nao waliwekwa kusudi wapate hayo mbali nyinyi ni mzao teule mkuhani wa kifalme taifa takatifu watu wa milki ya Mungu mpate kuzitangaza fadhili zake yeye aliyewaita mtoe mtoke gizani mkaingie katika nuru yake ya ajabu neno la Mungu Tusimame kwa shangilio Haleluya haleluya Yesu alimwambia akamwambia Mimi ndimi njia na kweli na uzima na mtu haji kwa baba ila kwa njia ya mimi Haleluya Bwana awe nanyi. Somo katika injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Yohane. Yesu aliwaambia wanafunzi wake, msifadhaike mioyoni mwenu, mwaminini Mungu, niaminini na mimi. Nyumbani mwa baba yangu kunao makao mengi kama sifio ningaliwaambia maana naenda kuadalia makao basi mimi nikienda na kuandalia mahali nitakuja tena niwakaribishe kwangu ili nilipo mimi nanyi muepo nami niendako mwanjua njia Tomaso akamwambia Bwana sisi hatujui uendako nasi twaijuaje njia Yesu akawaambia Mimi dimi njia na kweli na uzima mtu haji kwa baba yangu ila kwa jia yangu mimi kama mgalinijua mimi mgalimjua na baba tangu sasa mnamjua tena 
mmemuona Filipo akamwambia Bwana utuonyeshe baba ya tutosha Yesu akamwambia Mimi nimekuwepo pamoja, pamoja nanyi siku hizi zote wewe usinijue Filipo Aliyemuona mimi amemuona baba basi wewe wasemaji utuonyeshe baba husadiki ya kwamba mimi ni ndani ya baba na baba yudani yangu hayo maneno niwaambiayo mimi siyasemi kwa shauri langu lakini baba akae ndani yangu uzifanya kazi zake mnisadiki ya kwamba mimi ni ndani ya baba na baba yangu yu ndani yangu la hamsadiki hivyo sadikini kwa sababu ya kazi za kazi za kazi zenyewe amen Amin na waambieni yeye aniaminie mimi kazi nisifanyazo mimi yeye naye atazifanya naam na kubwa kuliko hizo atafanya kwa kuwa mimi naenda kwa baba Injili ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Hakika jiwe lilokataliwa na waashi limekuwa jiwe kula pembeni. Tuendelea basi na Pasaka. Kristo mfufuka ambaye ni jiwe kuu la pembeni ambalo limekataliwa na waashi. Sasa hili litoa tunao tunaposherekea Tuasherekea ushindi wake kwamba yeye sasa katika njili yetu kama vile tumesoma yeye ndiye njia ndiye kweli na ndiye uzima wetu yeye ndiye tegemeo letu na ndio maana yuendelea kuapa moyo haswa hawa mitume msifadhaike meoni mwenu ya minini mimi na muamini baba angalieni jiwe hili la pembeni Kristu mwenyewe Tutazame jiwe hili ambao ni Kristu katika maisha yetu. Basi tuaitwa leo hii Jumapili hii tuweze kutafakari Kristu huyu kama njia yetu, kama kweli yetu na zaidi kama uzima wetu. Katika somo la kwanza tuendelea kusikia vile kanisa laendelea kuwa na watu wengi na zaidi kuimalika katika imani. Wanafunzi wale derasana waendelea kufanya kazi kumega kubiri neno la Kristu lakini basi kumetokea manunguniko malalamiko kwa hawa wa Yahudi wa Kiunani wale ambao tunawaita Hellenist ambao waanza kusema kwamba wale ambao hawako washughulikiwa mayatima wao hawako washughulikiwa wajane wao hawako washughulikiwa hawako wanafikiwa wanafikiwa na chakula ambacho kilikuwa chagawia wengine na hivi kwamba ni kama walikuwa wametemwa waanza kunungunika katika jamii hakuwezi kosa manunguniko lakini wanafunzi wa Yesu wakaa chini waona ni vyema kutatua jambo hili kwa njia amani na kwa njia ambayo yaweza kusaidia nasi kuendeleza injili wawachagua saba miongoni mwa wale walikuwa pamoja nao semashi dikons saba ambao wachaguliwa tuambiwa ni watu ambao wamejaa wema wale ambao tuachikia wamechaguliwa ni watu ambao wamejaa roho ni watu ambao wamejaa hekima ili waweze kuwasaidia nao waendelee zaidi katika kuomba na zaidi kueneza neno la Mungu sisi nasi leo hii tunaweza jiuliza katika somo la kwanza je Tumejaa wema, tumejaa roho, tumejaa hekma, tuweza kuchaguliwa katika kueneza huduma hii, service. 
kwa wale wote ambao wahitaji msaada wetu Somo la pili mtakatifu Petro yaendelea kutuambia kwamba Kristu basi ni jengo ambalo limejengwa na sisi tuwafaa kujengwa katika jengo hili la kiroho tumeteuliwa atuambia vyema kwamba tumeteuliwa sisi ni mzao mteule we have been given a special dignity and a special responsibility this is saint peter telling us that you have become mzao mteule ukuhani wa kifalme taifa takatifu watu wa milki ya Mungu tumekuwa hivyo kwa sababu Kristu mwenyewe ambaye ni jengo ambalo haliwezi tingizika ametujenga sisi tujiulize je twakumbuka kwamba tumechaguliwa tumeteuliwa twaishi kama watu ambao umeteuliwa taifa takatifu watu wa milki ya Mungu Je twamkumbuka kwamba ndiye njia yetu, ndiye kweli na zaidi ndiye uzima katika maisha yetu. E Bwana, mara nyingi ambapo twasahau fadhili zako zikae nasi kama vile twakugoja kila wakati hasa wakati wa corona. Tunaposahau kwamba sisi ni mzao mteule, e Bwana, fadhili zako zikae nasi kama vile tulivyokugoja. Injili inaendelea kutupa ama kuwapa mitume. Kumbuka injili hii tumekuwa tukisoma wiki hii. Kipengele hiki cha kucholewa wakati wa Alhamisi kuu, Yesu amewamaliza kwa tawadha miguu. Amewaonyesha jinsi ya kuwatumikia wengine. Ameanza kuwapa hotuba ya mwisho kwamba yeye yuatangulia yuaenda. Wamepata huzuni kwamba yuaacha. Ndio maana anza kuambia msifadhaike not be troubled let your heart not be troubled Yesu Kristo ambia hivyo msifadhaike kwa sababu naenda kuandalia mahali kwa baba yangu kuna vyumba vingi isipokuwa ni hivyo ningewaambia hivyo Yesu Kristo atuambia lakini je tujiulize wakati kama huu kama vile wanafunzi wa Yesu wajua kwamba Yesu yuaenda tegemeo lao hayuko tena What happens to our faith? What happened to our faith in time of crisis like that one? Even like now we have this pandemic. What happened to our faith? There comes a time in the lives of all believers when things get very dark. Actually we cannot know what to do. And they actually they have to believe what they cannot prove. A Christian have actually to go on believing what they cannot prove they cannot they actually have to accept even though they cannot understand or make sense of what is happening we have actually to accept even the moment we cannot know what is happening in our life it is a such moment such time that we really need strong faith but it's precisely at the same time that the faith sometimes fails wakati kama huu ndio imani yetu yajaribiwa mpaka twanguka katika imani wakati wa shida wakati wa changamoto angalieni wanafunzi wa Yesu angalieni mitume kukakuwa na manunguniko na fujo je imani yao yaanguka pana waendelea na zaidi katika amani wasuluhisha it is easy to convince ourselves that we have a strong faith yes when things are going on well When crisis arises we discover what kind of faith we have. Wakati ambao kuna shida twajua, twajiuliza na tuona vile ambavyo imani yetu imefika wapi. Oh, if we have it at all. Do we have any faith? That moment we have we can know. By faith here we mean actually that trust in God. Ile trust ile ya kujiachilia kwake Mungu, that trust in God. Of course, there are people who think that if God was with them And if he really loved them then no storm would ever hit them which is a mistaken thing life is a journey life should not be a plain sailing so when storms does hit them they experience a deep crisis of faith thinking that god has abandoned them fikiria mungu ametuacha wakati wa shida kama hizi 
wakati kama huu Kristo anapowaambia wanafunzi wake wasifadhaike ajua kwamba anawaambia niaminini mimi you are sure waamini lakini awaambia you must go on believing in God and in me you must go on believing yes i know you believe but go on go on believing endeleeni kuamini at a time of crisis people feel that god has abandoned them but jesus assured the apostles that even though he was leaving them he was not abandoning them rather he was going to prepare a home for them and they are kuwatengenezea mahali and will return to take them home so that where he is they can also be there we can ask ourselves where is our home Nyumbani kwetu ni wapi? Kristo tuambie inaenda kututengenezea mahali. Do we know our home? Especially our final destiny. Nyumbani ni mahali ambapo kuna amani. Nyumbani ni mahali ambapo kila mmoja wetu tuatamani kuenda ikiwa hatuko nyumbani. Nyumbani ni mahali ambapo hatuchoki kufika hata safari iwe na road blocks ngapi kama sasa hivi. Tuataka kufika tu tunalalala na kalao nyumbani kwa sababu hapo tuwapata amani hapo tuwapata Kristo tuambia na watengenezea na kwaita mkuje mfike nyumbani The loveliest words in the gospel today The loveliest words in the gospel today There are many rooms in my father's house There are many whole rooms in my father's house Kwa mtoto Nyumbani sio sio jengo kwa, mto, kwa mtoto nyumbani sio jengo ambalo limejengwa lakini kwa mtoto nyumbani ni mahali popote pale ambapo wapo na wazazi Mtoto yuafikiria kwamba yuko nyumbani anapokuwa na wazazi wake hapo ni nyumbani anaambiwa twende nyumbani hapana sitaki kwenda kwa sababu yeye yuajihisi kwamba yuko nyumbani Kristo tuambia basi ni lazima tuweze kutengeneza nyumba ile ya kiroho ndio tuambiwa katika mtakatifu Petro nyumba hili ambalo Kristo mwenyewe yupo hapo tutakuwa nyumbani kila wakati hatutahisi kwamba hatuko nyumbani lakini Kristo ambaye ni jengo hili nasi tumejengwa katika jengo hili tutakuwa nani ya nyumba hili Tuchiombeeni ndugu zangu tuendelee kukaa katika nyumba hii ambao ni nyumba ya kiroho. We must go on trusting. We must go on believing. Yes, even when challenges come on our lives. But a time of crisis. That is the only thing we can do actually to go on stubbornly. Because we have actually to be stubborn, trusting in God. And we know for sure trust is the greatest thing we can give to another person. What real faith does is to assure us that God is with us even in the midst of crisis. It is that feeling, that conviction that we are not alone. That is a faith and trust. That feeling, that conviction that we are not alone and that we are not abandoned which enable us to go even even when there are crises in our lives life is an, an intelligent life is an enjoyable without god that is why faith is important in our lives remember this great singer chari when he became a catholic he said very well i believe completely i can't imagine my life without my faith i can't imagine my life without my faith but he continued and said but it has taken me long to be where i am my faith i've been tempted i've actually been tried i've had a gone many crises it has taken long to be where i am those who have faith have a source of comfort and inspirations especially when trouble strikes they know that god will be good to them in the end both in this world and in the next it is not we who keep the faith sio sisi ambao tuaweka imani ni imani yenyewe yatuweka sisi it is not us who keeps the faith it is faith which keeps us yes we have the faith but it keeps us a person 
with a grain of faith in God, never loses hope because he believes the ultimate tri triumph of the truth. Yeye hapotezi matumaini kwa sababu ajua kwamba ukweli utasimama na Yesu Kristo ndiye ukweli utasimama. Hatapoteza matumaini. Do we know the way? Do we know the way? Thomas is asking today. Do we know the way? The way to God has confused and actually baffled many. Some have actually got hopelessly confused and others have got lost. When Thomas asked Jesus, show us the Father, Jesus didn't actually give him a lot of complicated directions. Instead, he said, I am the way. In other words, he told Thomas, just follow me. Nifuate, be with me. Kua nami, come with me. Temea na mimi, walk with me, love with me, care with me, and forgive with me. This is actually what Jesus was telling Thomas. I am the way. Just follow me. Just be with me. Come with me. Walk with me. Love with me. For, care with me and forgive with me. And this is what it means actually. To know me is to love me. And to walk me, with me is to share my life. Christu mwenyewe ataka tugawe maisha yake na wengine. Na pia tuweze kuchukua umungu wake. Na zuwa tuajua kwa mba katika ubatizo. Mekua watoto na tuwekua watoto wa mungu. At the same time, it is for me to love you. And to let you not only share my life. This is Jesus telling us. At the same time, it is, it is for me to love you. And not, let, not only to share my life, but allow me to share yours with you. Yesu Christ wataka atuingia dani yetu na zaidi ya weze kutueleza vile ambavyo sisi tulivyo. If therefore we are going to follow, if therefore you are going to follow me, you must learn to work. You must learn to reach out. You must learn to wash feet. You must learn to bless people. You must learn to care. You must learn to be as our father is a constant giver a constant lover one who is destined and you are destined to live together in eternal life do you accept jesus as the way the truth and life the only way we can accept him as the way is by walking his narrow way of loving humble sacrificial service the only way we can accept him as the truth is through learning and practicing what he taught to us through the scripture and through the teaching of the church. The only way we can follow him as our life, the divine life, is when we participate actively in the Eucharistic celebration. It is when we receive him in a worthy manner. It is when we receive other sacrament in a worthy manner. It is when we meditate daily the word of God. It is when we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. It is when we communicate with God, the source of life. This only way we can follow him as our life. Do you think God will recognize you when you return home to him at the end of our life's journey? Do you think God will recognize you as his son or daughter? Je, atakutambua unaporejea nyumbani? Na huu mchungaji mhubiri ambaye aliweza kuja maeneo ya a certain city. Na katika kutembea alikuwa atafuta posta ya niweze kutuma barua. Na katika kutafuta posta kwa sababu alikuwa mgeni, akaona kama mepote, akaona nivema, aulizie njia. Akaulizia hawa watoto wakaa katika mitaa. Kaulizia je, posta iko wapi? Toto yule akamwambia utaenda hivi, utaenda hivi, utaenda hivi, utaikuta pale mbele. 
akaashiriwa iko wapi akafurahia sana ule mchungaji akamwambia yule kijana asante sana ubarikiwe nawe na kuadhika juma juma jumapili jayo uje kanisani kwetu kaa pale niweze kukueleza jinsi ya kufika kwake Mungu yule kijana akamwangalia yule mzee akamwambia no thanks you don't even know how to get to the post office how are you going to teach me how to go to heaven je sisi twajua mahali twaenda twajua kwenda kwa Mungu twajua njia Kristo ametuambia vile ambavyo tutakavyofika tujiombeeni leo hii ndugu zangu dada zangu kila wakati tuziweze kutazama shida zetu zilivyo nyingi tukapoteza wakati wetu kuzitazama zilivyo nyingi lakini tuweze kumtazama huyu jiwe lililokataliwa na waashi jiwe kula pembeni tuweze kumtazama ambaye ametuambia ndiye njia ndiye kweli na ndiye uzima tuweze kumtazama tuendeleeni kumwachia shida zetu na zaidi ya yote ndugu zangu tumombe atuelekeze yeye ambaye ndiye uzima atuambia hivyo tufungue nyoyo zetu aendelee kutufunza kwa sababu yeye ni ukweli mwenyewe aendelee kutufunza tufungue nyoyo zetu atufunze na akili zetu kwa sababu anatuelekeza yeye ni ukweli na zaidi tu, tujiachilie yeye mwenyewe akuje aingie awe awe uzima wetu kwa sababu yeye ni uzima his life itself yeye mwenyewe ni uzima may we strive all the more to make Jesus the cornerstone of our lives and our lives won't crumble down may our present crisis be an opportunity to enhance our relationship with God leo hii basi tunapowatakia akina mama yake Mungu katika vitu ambao wakipekee ambao wamechaguliwa na Mungu wameteuliwa tuombe Mungu wetu aendelee zaidi kuapa na zaidi kuashirishia mapaji ya imani wasife moyo haswa katika changamoto wanazokubana nazo katika ulezi wao haswa wakati wa watoto wetu wote wako nyumbani changamoto nyingi sana tuombe waweze kuweka imani na zaidi waweze kumtazama Yesu ambaye ndiye mwenyewe aliyewapa wito huo na waacha na nukuu hii Oh that I am Oh that I am I never hope to be I owe my angel mother Oh that I am and hope to be I owe to my angel mother Happy International Mothers Day to all our mothers
na ufalme wake hautakuwa na mwisho na saniki kwa roho mtakatifu bwana mleta uzima atokai kwa baba na mwana anayobuliwa na mtukufu kutoka kwa pamoja na baba na mwana alienenwa kwa bidu wa bwana mwanbi na saniki kwa kanisa moja atakatifu katoliki na mtume na ungama kwa hizo moja kwa mtume wa dhambi na kuzia ufuko wa wafu na uzima wa milele ijayo amina Nileeni kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa wema wake, ukalimu wake katika maisha yetu. Haswa tukiletania zetu binafsi na zia za wote ambao wametuomba tuweze kuwakumbuka haswa katika ibada hii. Tuendelee kuombea kina mama wote leo hii ili Mungu wetu aweze kuimarisha katika imani na zaidi aweze kutana nao katika mahitaji yao katika kazi hii ambao wamewatwika kazi ya kuwa wazazi. Tuombee Mungu wetu Aendelee kwa dhina na kuokoa na shida zozote. E bwana atakuomba. Tujiombe nasi sote ili tuweze kumchagua Kristu kama ujia, kama uzima na kweli ya maisha yetu. Ya ambaye nijiwe kwa ambao limekataliwa na waashi, aendelee zaidi kutuweka msingi bora katika maisha yetu ili tuweze Kusimama kidete haswa katika shida ambazo tukubana nazo ambazo zajaribu imani yetu. E Bwana tuakuomba. Tuombe wote ya wote ambao wanako nazo changamoto si haba haswa wakati huu wa janga hili kuu la corona wale ambao wameachwa na wenzao na zaidi wale ambao wameambukizwa ili Mungu wetu ambaye ni tulizo letu na mwanga wetu aendelee kuwaliwaza na zaidi kuwaletea uponyaji wote ambao wamegonjeka. E Bwana atakuomba. Mama Maria ndiye mwombezi wetu. Leo hii tunaposherekea kila mama tumombe atuombe. Yeye ndiye mama wetu, mama wa kanisa, mama wa kina mama wote. Tumombe endelee tuombe asante tukisema salama Maria, mejaa neema, Bwana yunawe, mbarikiwe kulikuwa na wake wote na Yesu mzaa wa tumbo lako mbarikiwe. Maria mtakatifu wa wa Mungu tuombe sisi wakosefu sasa na saa kwa kwetu amina tumemba haya yote kwa jina Kristo bwana wetu Salini ndugu ili saraka yangu na yeni kubaliwe na Mungu baba mwenyezi <coughs> E Mungu Umetushirikisha Mungu wako mkuu katika kushiriki saraka hii takatifu. Tunakuomba utujalie, tuufuate kwa mwenendo mwema ule ukweli wako kama tunavyojua. Tunaomba hayo kwa jina la Kristo Bwana wetu. Bwana awe nanyi. Inweni mioyo. Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Kweli ni vema na haki tukutukuze kila wakati e bwana lakini hasa wakati huu kwa shangwe kubwa zaidi kwa kuwa Kristo Paska wetu ametuliwa sadaka kwa sababu yake watoto wa nuru wanazaliwa katika uzima wa milele na waamini wanafunguliwa milango ya ufalme wa mbinguni kwa kufa kwake tumeokolewa katika mauti yetu na kwa kufufuka kwake sisi sote tumerudishiwa uzima na kwa sababu hiyo watu wote wanaitukuza siku kuu ya Pasaka kwa furaha kubwa popote duniani na malaika wote wa mbinguni wanaimba wimbo wa kutukuza wakisema bila mwisho Takatifu 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 Bwana Mungu wa mwanishi Mungu na dunia zimejaa utukufu wako Sana juu Bariki Bwana ikuja kwa jina la Bwana Sana juu E bwana kweli huu mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilicho bwanawe kila kusifu kwa haki maana kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo manao na kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu unatia uzima na kutakasa vitu vyote wala wachi kwa kusanya watu kwako ili toka maabiyo ya jua hata macho yake wakutolee sadaka safi basi tunakusi e bwana uzibariki dhambi hizi tunazo kusulia upende kuzitakaza kwa roho wako ili zigeuke kuwa mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetwaamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya usiku ule alipotolewa ye mwenyewe alitoa mkate akakushukuru akakutukuza akaumega akawapo wafuasi wake akisema tuwaeni mle wote 
Huu ndio mwili wangu utakao tolewa kwa ajili yenu. Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akashukuru akatukuza akawapo wafuasi wake akisema tuaeni nyie wote ikini kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya milele itakayo magika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kukumbuka mimi Tangazi fumbo la imani Kristo alikufa Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo e bwana tunapokumbuka mateso ya huyo mwanao na kufufuka na kupaa kwake mbinguni tunapogojea na kuja kwake mara ya pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii yenye uzima na utakatifu tunakuomba uangalie na kukubali sadaka kanisa lako liotaka kusudizwa nayo Tujadie sisi tunawalishwa mwili na damu ya mwanao tujazwe na roho yake mtakatifu ili tuwe mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristo. Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwa kwa sadaka ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako Bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mitume na mashadiki mashahidi wako wenye heri na watakatifu wote ambao daima tuna tunaombea kwa tunakuomba e bwana sadaka hii ya kupatanisha nawe ilete amani na wokofu duniani kote uimarishie kanisa lako imani na mapendo hapa duniani yani mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu francisco askofu kanari john joe mtumishi wako askofu david kamau maaskofu na watumishi wako wote pamoja na taifa lako lote Usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii iliyo hapa mbele yako e baba mwema kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani Wapoke katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na watu walioaga dunia katika hali ya neema nasi tunatumaini kujawa na utukufu milele katika ufalme wako mkumbuke mtumishi wako George uliyemwita kwako kutoka dunia hii kwa kuwa alishiriki kifo cha Kristo katika ubatizo. Umjalia shiriki pia ufuko wako siku ya ufuko, siku ya ufuko katika Kristo ataufananisha miili yetu na miili mwili wake mtakatifu. Kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyeasili ya mema yote. kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake we Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele Baba Yesu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni Tupendeo mkate wetu wa kila siku tusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamehe na sisi walio tukosea tusitie katika kushawishi lakini utuopoe maovu ni e bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote usijalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu utepushe daima na dhambi kwa huruma yako tusifadhaishwe na jambo lote 
Kwa je kwa matumaini kurudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristu. E bwana Yesu Kristu, uliyewaambia mitume wako, leo hii watuambia sote haswa tunapoombea kila mama wote na waachieni amani na wapeni amani yangu. Salame dhambi zetu za imani ya kanisa lako, ulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako. Unayeishi na kutawala daima na milele. Amani, amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Tutakiane amani. Mwana kondoo wa Mungu. <coughs> Tazameni mwana kondoo wa Mungu aondoae dhambi za dunia. Heli yetu sisi sote ambao tumealikwa kwenye karamu ya Bwana. E Bwana, sasa kwangu lakini sema neno moja tu roho yangu ita. Mwili na damu yake Kristo tudinde na tufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Yeah. 